today follow along with me as I work through the process of taking my festive colourwork circular yoke design idea using the punch card generator software loading into my brother's scan and cut machine. The model I'll be using today is the CM900 and getting the, the scan and cut machine to cut out my punch card. Getting started, I have my punch card blank idea. This is using Google Sheets and this lets me know how tall each area that I can design into for each tiered section of the yoke. I've filled that in using some festive designs that I like. Now you need to take this and transform it into a text document. To do a text document, if you come down to the bottom and type in notepad, you should have an app and the software requires you to input X's for where there will be punched holes and any other symbol for the blank areas. So you can use a dash for the blank and an X for the punched hole. So say you want to do a one and one punch, then you would just go dash X, dash X, etc. So I already have my text file loaded here. Looks a little bit different because it's kind of squashed up. And that is ready to be put into the punch card generator software. So if you go into Google and type in punch card generator and you want brendaabell.com, I can put a link down below. And this will walk you through all of the, it has all the instructions explaining what everything does and you want to load your file, select your machine type and how many vertical repeats you want. Now I only want one vertical repeat because it's quite a tall punch card. So you can come in, choose, make sure it's the text file, it has to be a text file and you can then upload and when you upload, you will get this and it always opens in our internet browser. So that is now an SVG file. You can see here it says .svg and I then need to go into my canvas workspace for my brother machine and load this file in to the Canvas workspace. So going into my Canvas workspace, I want to import from my computer the Festive Yoke punch card. I'm very fortunate that it actually fits on the 12 by 12 cutting mat. And before we export the design. We want to group everything because all of these small dots and the outline of the card at the moment are all separate. So if I was to move the outline, it would move by itself. So to group, I'm going to select, just left click and drag across all of the items so that they're all highlighted. Come up to layer and group. And that way when we move it, it moves everything at once. So then you can go up to file and export and select whichever way to export you want. I'll actually export via a USB drive. And we'll come back and see the machine at a different angle. So we have our USB loaded into the side of the machine. I have a mat set up 
with some 240 micron acetate A4 sheet. I'm going to load, load my sheet. I've already tried a test cut, so my blade setting is on three. I'm going to come in to the pattern, select save data, USB, here it is, and we can start cutting this out. And that'll take a little while to cut out. It says here 42 minutes. So I might do a time lapse to let you see the process of what the machine does. So I've unloaded the mat now and I should be able to peel off the outside piece of the acetate and then peel up. And there are a few that are still in but hopefully going through that with a, a pick tool I'll be able to clear it out but that it's kind of hard to see is now cut out and I can test this on the punch card machine Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video Feel free to leave a comment and until the next time, you've been watching Button Mouse The Wee Machine Knitter.